Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So, so GATE 2022, okay, I hope that the GATE 2022 preparation would have started for most of you. Um, the, the question which I'm going to answer, the most common question which the students used to ask, I'm going to answer that question. Should we refer reference book? Actually, this question has been asked by one of our students uh, who registered in our online course. Okay, so I already answered him, but I thought that uh, maybe the same question will be there for uh, others also. Okay, should we refer reference book? That is, should we follow standard textbook? See, if you ask me the best source uh, for understanding the concepts, uh, none other than it's going to be the standard textbook. Okay, it's completely it's going to be the standard textbook. But the issue here is understanding the standard textbook, understanding the concepts from standard textbook is time consuming. It's not going to be um, uh, that easy. You can understand it, but it is going to be time consuming. You need to spend more and more of time on a single subject if you start reading a reference book for each and every subject. Okay. Now, I just given you this particular point. Now, let us talk, ab uh, let us talk about this in detail. There are two different types of students, right? One is going to be the students who are going to prepare uh, by self, self-studying students. The another one is students who are going to get help from online courses. Of course, another one is the students who are going to prefer going classroom coaching. Three different types of students. I'm not going to talk about the advantages and uh, disadvantages of self-preparation or online classes or classroom coaching. I'm not going to talk about that. Just going to uh, say how this reference book is going to help you for these three different types of students. First, self uh, self-preparing students. Without standard books, it's going to be very difficult for you, If uh, very difficult for the students who are going to prepare by their own. Okay, There is a clear cut reason because there is no genuine source which is available other than standard textbook. Okay, I'm talking about uh, self-preparing students. Okay, So if you are going to prepare by self, my uh, complete suggestion is you have to read standard books, no other choice. The difficulty here is you have to um, understand that what is the gate syllabus and what are the gate uh, topics which is uh, which is required to be studied from standard textbook you cannot go and read the book completely right page and page by page if you start reading and if you complete one particular book then it's not uh, going to be that easy okay and we have very limited time for example for gate 2022 it's approximately 10 11 months right so it's not going to be easy if you start reading each and every page in the book Okay, I'm first I'm talking about the students who are preparing by themselves, self-preparation. So you have to first do the analysis properly. Okay, what are the topics which is there uh, in the syllabus and what are the topics which has to be studied from this particular textbook? And also the more important thing is what are all the standard textbook to be followed? Because there are n number of books in a particular in one particular uh, subject. So what textbook, what standard textbook to be followed? All those things you need to do. That is before starting your preparation itself, you need to make sure that all these things are available for you okay now if suppose for example a uh, few 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 subjects okay for example i will take an example of industrial it's not that easy to uh, study industrial just from one single book okay, you need to study or separately you need to study inventory control separately so for each and every topic you need to refer different different books and sometimes it will be better if you refer nptel videos those nptel videos will be better than that of standard textbook but again in nptel video also the same uh, thing you need to uh, finalize what you need to watch, what you should not watch. It won't be gate oriented. Okay. So by keeping gate syllabus in your hand, you start, um, what I could say, start comparing the topic which they are covering in NPTEL and uh, what you are, what you need to study actually. Okay. And similarly, standard textbook also, what you need to study and what is there in the standard textbook, uh, you have to make, make sure that it is, uh, it is in line. Okay. That is something uh, which an extra work the students who are going to prepare by self has to do okay they won't have a, a proper what i could say a proper source from where they can read so there is no other choice for them they have to go for standard textbooks or nptel and uh, if they go for standard textbook and nptel first they need to make those topics in line with gate syllabus okay that is uh, the first thing which i discussed so for uh, self studying students standard text uh, standard textbook is must now coming to these two categories, what are the two categories which I am talking about? Students who are going for online classes or students who are going for classroom coaching. Anyways, both of them, I am going to I'm going to just uh, bring it into a single 
single term only so the students who are uh, not preparing by self they are going for some classes see if you have selected a, a good coaching class or if you have joined in a very good institute an institute which offers a proper coaching there are there are n number of institutes which has which was there uh, presently right so if you had selected a good institute okay if if the content of that institute is good then i will suggest you to just follow what uh, the content which they are teaching and again there is a there is a there is a very important thing the content has to be good the content has to be what i could say the content has to be uh, genuine okay that you can easily understand you just go and watch uh, suppose if they they have the demo videos you can just go and watch their demo videos or if you can just go to their website and you can check okay so that analyzing of content that work you need to do initially okay for the self studying student that is not required but for the students who are going to join in coaching first they need to uh, go through the uh, demo videos of the institute which you are going to join uh, go through the material of the institute which you are going to uh, going to join and similarly test series uh, which you are going to join first that uh, process has to be done you have to check it and then you need to decide and you have to join in an institute which is going to be good okay which has to provide some good quality content okay now if they are providing you a good quality content then obviously there is no requirement for you to go for a reference book okay but still reference book will be useful for you at one particular point what is the point i will say okay so for online class students or for uh, classroom coaching students it is not mandatory to refer each and every particular point in reference book you can just follow what they are teaching in the class because obviously as a faculty i itself know that if a uh, if a faculty is going to teach he is going to refer different sources and then only he is going to teach right so obviously he would have already referred that uh, a faculty would have referred different sources for framing that particular notes right so now this is the second category of students that is the students who are preparing by going to coaching so for them reference book is not mandatory okay but for self studying student it is mandatory either you have to go for reference book or nptel but you have to make it in line with the syllabus okay but for coaching students i will recommend them to follow the coaching notes okay now coming to the second uh, coming to the uh, key point here uh, when reference book will be helpful for the students who are going for coaching okay they are attending online class or they are going for classroom coaching when reference book will be useful it will be useful for the concept which you don't have much clarity even after attending the class okay even after attending the class see it's it's very common only okay so if you are going for a class of course the class will be oriented towards uh, gate they will be completely focused towards gate there is no requirement for you to uh, what i could say refer standard book or nptel lecture for each and every uh, each and every topics you can just follow them but there is a possibility you won't able to understand one or two concepts in class and there is a possibility even if it is online class also of course my first suggestion is directly approach the faculty ask the doubt clear it off even after asking the doubt also uh, a, a faculty has responded faculty has tried to clear your doubt but still you are not feeling completely satisfied with that particular topic so now take the reference book of that particular subject of that particular topic only read okay of that particular subject only read that particular topic even if you want you refer two or three reference book also now just to make sure that you are satisfied with that concept but i won't recommend you to refer two or three just take one reference book that will be enough okay just one reference book one standard book if you're not able to understand any topic any one topic small topic in the class only that topic you go for standard book go through that you will make it uh, i hope uh, you will be you will be making it clear first suggestion is go to the faculty and ask him if he clears your doubt if you are satisfied well and good if you are not satisfied only i am suggesting you this okay so that is where reference will, reference book will be helpful for uh, what is that the students who are uh, going for online classes or classroom coaching make sure that you are joining a good online classes okay so uh, before joining the class try to go uh, try to research it properly especially try to watch their demo videos uh, go through their uh, demo content if it is available then you decide and you join okay right now coming to uh, the conclusion reference book uh, will be very helpful for problems also Okay, this is common for both uh, self-studying students or the classroom going students. Uh, in the last video, also I already explained that uh, the problems which is there in the solved problems of standard books. Okay, that only will be enough. Uh, there is no requirement for you to 
go through the what is that theory each and every point of the theory okay so if you are going for coaching not necessary if you are going for self study i already explained to you okay so problems will be useful okay now finally uh, that's it that's it about this video okay so now uh, regarding endurance engineering academy we are offering online courses if you are interested in any of online courses for gate mechanical or gate engineering science uh, uh, and similarly uh, video courses is also there a series and um, and also the doubt support if you are interested in any you can just check out our uh, uh, what i could say you can just check out our website you can check out our uh, uh, other details which is available if you want to check the demo demo is also already available you can just go to the playlist in the playlist uh for mathematics for central materials for thermodynamics for each subject there will be some folder where we added the demo content